Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. I need to warn you right off the bat that I'm having a bit of an off day. I feel strange. Things aren't going so well. I started up the game and it was running in the wrong resolution, even though I hadn't changed the settings. I don't even know why, but now that makes me think that something is horribly wrong. Also, I don't even really remember what I was doing. So I'm assuming everything is wrong and this entire video is going to be completely fucked up. That is my assumption. But, let's continue, and see if I can hopefully not do something incredibly stupid like last time where I didn't give my medic a medkit, and I didn't use run and gun on my assault trooper. Let's try to avoid that, at least. I think the only thing left for me to do is wait. Why did the resolution reset? Why would the resolution reset? So weird, and V-Sync re-enabled itself. But some of the other settings, like the, uh, the enable the soldiers' voices to match their nationality, which was unchecked by default, and I had checked it, that was still checked. So something's reset, but something's didn't. I don't... I don't understand. What is going on? Um... Australia. Oh, another Exalt. Let's do it. Man, we're gonna get the Exalt HQ very soon. Alright. Gary Warner. This is a job, as always, for you. Um, I could give you the chitin plating, but the fact is, I always keep you out of harm's way, so there's really not much of a reason to do that. So, let's just give you the vest and an alien grenade. Because that actually came in handy last mission. Or one of the last missions. Things are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. Unidentified UFOs? <gasps> Gmod. Optic adjustment speed will allow them to compensate much faster when they miss shots. Good. I can't even remember who I just did that gene mod on. I think it was one of my heavies. Uh, right, because they have the multi, they have bullet swarm. So I think I gave that to one of my heavies. Which heavy was it? It wasn't Soul. It was. Who? Who was it? I know the other one in there is Arrow, who I'm giving. Muscle fiber density and also that eye thing. Was it Soul? No, it's Finn. Yeah, it's Finn. Okay. Why do I keep doing that? Contact detected. Supply barge. Ooh, I could use supplies. And it's in Egypt, which sounds like a fun place to visit. I've always wanted to go to Egypt. I wonder if we're going to find any stargates there. I've heard that if you walk around and you look hard enough, you can find stargates just... Just in Egypt, just everywhere. Okay, who do I... What the hell? Okay, something's wrong. Why does stuff keep moving? My mechs, the last time I played, I'm like 99% certain my mechs were on the left side. Why are they now here? What the fuck is happening? Something's wrong. Something doesn't feel right. Every Everything's wrong. I'm probably recording this video in the wrong resolution or something. Or I've accidentally disabled the mouse cursor capture again. <sighs> okay. Who am I taking? It's a supply barge. Uh, I don't know how many enemies are going to be here. The difficulty is probably going to increase, as they kind of hinted at, now that I've kind of done the main mission a bit more. I've, I've poked the hornet's nest, except instead of hornets, I've poked the alien's nest. So I don't necessarily want to take my best. I'm not going to take Graves. I'm going to take Blunda again. And I'm going to give Blunda a med kit. Because medics should have med kits. I'm going to do that. Don't forget. Don't forget. Give my medic a med kit. Finn, I will take you. Spectre. What? Have you leveled up to the max level yet? No. So I'll continue to take you. Yeah, I'm going to take my near best. Even though I don't need to, I just don't really need to get my... I'll take my other people on the really easy missions. Yeah. Alright. Finn? Wait, Finn's... Wait, what What the fuck? What is even happening? Contact detected. What did I just do? Finn is already here. And... Now you... What? Oh. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong. On me- how- Blunda, you are on the mission. Then why did you come- what the fuck? 
Okay, who do I need? I need an assault, so I need arrow. She's out, so I will take... Who's my next best assault? That was Gary Warner. I guess it's gonna be Ochner. Yep, alright. What level is Ochner? Oh, you're really high level. Unfortunately, you don't have mimetic skin, which blows. Anyway, let's give everybody the appropriate stuff. And let me make sure they actually, actually, for realsies, have the appropriate stuff. Right, you're good. Finn, you are good. What? I swear, I don't think I'm doing that. Let me test this. Edit, right click. Edit, right click. Edit, right click. Okay. What if you hold down right click? Is that when it's happening? No. I don't know. I don't know. Right, you're good. You're not good. This isn't gonna go well. Everything is wrong. Med kit. And nanofiber vest. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Hold on. Let me make sure everything is available. Titan armor. Scat. Nope. Scat or laser. Let's give you the chitin blading. And let's get an arc thrower. Yeah, let's try to capture some aliens. Right, so everything is good, right? My medic has a med kit. Everybody has the best weapons. Mm-hmm. I have all the classes, right? Assault, support, heavy sniper. Okay, we're good. Oh boy. If you have one of those days where everything just seems to be going wrong, that's today. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. We tracked the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside of a small town. We should move to secure the site and clear out any hostiles we can find. This actually sounds like a really cool mission. Egypt, this, is, this has got to be new, right? A new battleground, I mean? Who? Aww. I read you, big sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. It looked so cool before, but now we have the fog of war. It looked so cool before, but now we have the fog of war. So you can't really see very much. Actually, with the fog of war, it doesn't even look like a very unique environment, frankly. Because you can only see the ground, which, granted, is water. Which actually is unique, but... I don't know, lost the coolness of being in a... Look like a desert environment. Anyway, well, I don't have mimetic skin, so that's out. What should I do then? I guess I should use my battle scanner more. But regardless, we need to move up first. All right, they could be around the sides, as always, but let's move up. Let's, uh, let's go through the front door. Oh yeah, there's meld, so I don't want to take too long. But I don't want to rush either. Yeah, I'll just move up here. I don't want to rush in too fast, or the aliens might finish me off. <coughs> Did you like the pun? On my way. I, I like how this this thing isn't working. I, I'd like to, I'd like to aim here, please. Can I please aim? Can I can I? You gonna let me aim there? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's do this.
Eh, yeah, we'll just put everyone out in the open. Whatever. Screw being careful. Being careful never helped anyone survive. The bad news. Everybody's standing out in the open. The good news. I can throw a smoke and everybody can shoot the sectopod. Which means it's pretty much guaranteed to be dead because I can take so many shots against it it's not even funny. Both my mechs combined can take four. My heavy can shoot a rocket and... Um, uh, or shoot twice. My sniper can shoot it. Yeah. Can I capture these little shits? Oh no, you're not- Oh fuck, why didn't I give the arc thrower to my support? I forgot. I was taking Blunda, he's the one that's got the long legs. I give it to my assault. That was dumb, but whatever. No, you can't capture him. I think there might be an upgrade you can get that allows you to capture them, but... I don't have it. Anyway. Right, what's the chance of it? 52? That is shit. Right. Maybe I should use the Shredder Rocket against it. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not going to hit this drone. But... I probably should. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Going high. We need to kill it this turn, because that thing has crazy armor. Right, it's shredded, so now it'll take 33% more damage, I believe. 46. Oh yeah, I have the proximity mines! A uh, plant of mine that does 8 damage to enemies that move within the mine's detection radius. Okay, that is not the thing I want to use now, because it doesn't need to move to shoot our faces off. But it is pretty cool. If I move, it's going to shoot me. Um, I could pop its overwatch if I used Ochner, who has lightning reflexes. Which, honestly, is probably the thing to do. Probably. In fact, I am going to do it, and I'm going to use run and gun first. Run and gun first. That's what sane people do. It's gonna miss. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. They're not going to do anything this turn. That's actually the best thing we could have encountered, pretty much. F 52? What the fuck? Alright, fine, I'll take it. I might not even kill this thing this goddamn turn. Ooh, it critted for six. Amazing. And it's shredded. Son of a bitch. I might need to use that um, the smoke grenade to protect our group here. thing just is so good at avoiding getting shot even though it's fucking huge and not even in cover. If I don't kill this thing this turn, then I really don't want Spectre to be out here. But if I move her, she can't really shoot. So... yeah. Hold on. Robotic units are disabled for one turn. That is a robotic unit, correct? Correct? That That is a robotic unit? Can I even hit it from there? Hold on. I need to I need to be sure of this, because this is the thing to do if it if it is true. Okay, so it can move right right to there, which is two, three, four. So it has a four bubble radius. So if I move here, one. 
One, two, three, four. It's not even going to reach. It's going to be one block short, so it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. No point. I can't even punch it. I think I should just shoot the goddamn thing. It's the best way to do damage against it. Alright. I've got four shots. And on average, about two of them should hit. Which should do around 20 points of damage. Six. Great. Is that thing really shredded? That's with the shredded. I'm doubtful. It's only doing... It's got to have some sort of special ability. Some sort of ability that makes it take way less damage. That's the only explanation I have for this. I have to admit, this weapon looks really cool. Please hit. Okay, I hit much more than I had any right to hit. Above average, definitely. Um, I think I can pretty much guarantee it's... Not guarantee, but I can make it very likely... Really? You can't shoot anyone else? Okay. So, it's pretty much down to you. You have an 89% chance to kill it. Please hit it. Thank God. I can sleep easy. Those sectopaws are a bitch to take down. I had every single unit available to hit it, and I shredded it first. And I was only barely able to kill it. That is insane. It's gotta have some crazy ability that makes it take way less damage. Because all of my shotgun shots and my big shots were doing like half damage, it seemed like. Right, so there's really no point in popping a smoke at this point. I don't even know what these little things do. Like, aren't they just gonna tickle me? They look so cute, I don't even wanna blow them up. I guess I should probably just kill the one that's, like, touching me. Yeah, okay. Earn a promotion. Good job, Blunder. I'm proud of you. What is it doing? What, what, is, what can it do? Can it shoot a laser? What is it doing? I don't know, but the Seekers are probably going to pop up, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, you're going to shoot. I uh, can't capture these things, right? Nope, they're robotic. Right. Right. So... Um, who needs the experience? Well, Blunda is now max level, I think. I think you'll need... Yeah, you only need one more level, so he doesn't need it. Fey, you... Well, you could definitely use it. You're relatively low level. No, wait, you're almost maxed. Spectre could use it. Let's give it a Spectre, because I really want a Sniper with Double Tap. I'm going to be so happy when I get a Sniper with Double Tap. That allows you to shoot twice in one turn. Ah, oh, it's going to be so nice. Let's give Finn some experience here. Or not. Apparently you don't have a shot there. Right. Let's... I'll just move you here. Man, I gotta do some crazy reloading next turn. Because we just burned a ton of our ammo on that secto... pod. <sighs> Alright, just move. Just... What the fuck? <sighs> I just moved him into full cover by one square, and he discovers a fucking mectoid. <sighs> Everything's going wrong. It's fine, though. Honestly, we're perfectly fine. How is that thing in half cover? It's in the air. I don't... Okay. Oh, I could even rapid fire it. Which would pretty much guarantee its death. Let's just do that. See you in hell, you... I... You really think a robot's going to hell? I don't know, it seems kind of... Far-fetched. 
Anyway, you have eyes on who? Oh, this sectoid. Not that it matters. Unfortunately, you're still standing out in the freaking open, which is horrible. Right. So... That thing's gonna come in, and it's probably gonna shoot someone. I hope it doesn't come around that corner. Because if it does, it might shoot at Spectre. But I'm gonna get in place to do some shit next turn. Because I'm gonna assume it's gonna come in this door. And I would like to attempt to use my Electro Pulse. Or something. Even though I can probably just kill it next turn. Should Overwatch or hunker down? Um. Um. Actually, no. What you should do is do this. I'm rolling. No, you're not rolling. You're walking. I didn't do that. Yeah, let's uh, let's hunker down here. And let's pop a smoke. Or am I going to want to move my troops next turn? Eh, it doesn't even matter. I'm sure we're going to kill the mechtoid the next turn we have. Alright, it's going to come in and it's going to pay us a visit. Hello? 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 There we go. Yep, it's coming in through the door. I thought it would. Oh crap, it's in the cloud. Of all the people you shoot. Alright, well, it's obviously dead. Although, actually, it might even be slightly out of the cloud. Is it in the cloud? I think it might be just on the edge. Like, it might be outside of it, slightly. Don't, no, don't. Yeah, it can't be in the cloud, or this would be way harder to hit it. Right, um, I really want my sniper. I really want my sniper to get experience. Where? Wait, is she? Spectre's still outside, isn't she? Yeah, okay, never mind. She can't do anything. Literally nothing at all. I'll just preemptively move you up here. Because we're going to be going for that meld canister next turn. Who else should I give the experience to? Finn. Explosives are not the answer here because it's way too close. I could electro pulse. No, yeah, that's yeah. Let's do that. Wait. Oh no, I didn't know that had friendly fire. Okay. And no, don't don't stop. Right. I really want to test it out. <sighs> but I have to admit, it doesn't make sense to use it right now. Let's just blow this thing up. Did that even hit? I can't even tell. Oh, it did. Finn, let's get you some experience. Nailed him. Right, we have enough time to get that. We're good. Let's reload here. Let's move up and reload. We do have one seeker that is still unaccounted for. But that's no big deal. Um, Lunda. All right, let's have you move up here. Moving. You're on the open, I know, but you're not gonna get shot, and the seeker certainly doesn't care about cover, because it could just pop up wherever. Let's rock. 
Who should I heal? You need some healing. Yes, you do. Let's do that. Well, no, she's still missing three hit points, but it's close. Right, it's probably going to pop up, and unfortunately we have no Overwatch. I probably should have put someone on Overwatch. The hell was that noise? Are you going for my mech? Oh, that's so cute! Of all the people you should have gone for, that was not the right one. Alright, there's another one over there. Okay, so I can grab that this turn, which is what I wanted. You need to reload. I feel like punching you. But that's kind of stupid. So let's not do that. Because if I punch you, that's going to take up my entire turn. Whereas I can shoot you and then move closer. Over here. Heading to that location. I can't wait until I get those advanced servo motors. It's going to give them so much more mobi mobility. Resupply completed. I so want to take over behind this little fragment that somehow is standing up on like one inch of remaining material that anchors it to the ground. I think it's amazing. Look at that. Oh, never mind. It's anchored from the top, isn't it? Yes, it is. Roger, Dodger. Let's, um... Actually, there's no reason to get that this turn. Why? We can just get it next turn. And I will have more action points with which to respond to any possible threat that I would find. Let's do that. In fact, let's toss a battle scanner. It's perfect. Where do I put you? Either here or here. This is a better bet. There's got to be something in one of these storage compartments. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What do you see? Looks like some floaters, heavy floaters, and some big mutons, whatever they're called. I know they're mutons, I'm just not sure what their variant's called. Heavy mutons, maybe? I should actually capture one. But anyway, I can pretty safely move up. Pro there's probably nothing in here, but there's no reason to, so... Let's not. Let's move up here. You shouldn't discover anything by going there. I think. Right? Yeah. I'm sure they're going to move around a bit. And my sniper can start shooting them, even though they can't... Oh no, they didn't move. Yeah, my sniper can... Spectre can just shoot them. Pop them in the head. 100% chance to crit. Dear God. Alright, let's grab this thing. See if there's anything in this, in this hold? No. Right, the other one is somewhere over here. Where? Don't know. We'll find it. Right, so I can move up and take a shot with a... Oh, a proximity mine! This is what we're going to do. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, how far can I shoot this thing? Far enough, I think. I'm going to launch a proximity mine right into the center of them, and then I'm going to shoot them. With specters, so they're going to run around in response because they're going to be discovered, and they're going to launch it. They're gonna, they're gonna trigger it. Assuming they don't see me from here, will they see me from here? I don't think so. Please don't. Good. Whew. Okay, I'm hoping they move in this direction. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't launch it into the center of them, but it's pretty close. 
<laughs> Hold on, what am I going to do with the rest of my people? Can you move up and do anything? Not sure if you can launch a grenade that far. No. Let's not attack this turn. Moving out. Hmm. Will they see me here? I don't know. Let's go here. What if you shot a rocket from here? Wouldn't cry to reach. I'm gonna move you here. Contact. Fuck. What the oh my god, there is something in there! Son of a bitch! Thank god I didn't trigger the mutons, though. Motherfucker. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna shoot at them. No, let's not poke the hornet's nest if we don't need to. You can take a shot. Good. Actually, you probably should. Let's take out that sectoid. Yeah, let's take out the sectoid before it has a chance to do any fancy shielding with the mectoid. No Alright, everyone's in good cover. We're in good cover. Where's it gonna move? I'm thinking it's either gonna move here and take a shot at Ochner. Or it's going to move out here and take a shot at my mechs. Or maybe my heavy. Who, uh, thankfully she's in full cover. Could pop a smoke. It's not really a reason to. At the moment. No, I already used my smoke, never mind. In fact, I'm going to put you right here, because that puts you in full cover. So if the mech decides to come around, you won't be flanked. Will do. Overwatch. And I'm definitely not taking the shot, so let's overwatch again. Your move, which way are you going to go? This way? Or that way? Okay, that's what I thought, and then you're probably going to take a... Oh, got a reaction shot. Oh, through the wall, and I'm sure it's going to hit. Of course it did. Hey, she's got to get a promotion at some point here. Come on. She's taking so many shots. Is it seriously retreating? Oh. All right, I don't want to wait too long for that thing. Let's just get this party started, shall we? I could even launch another one. Ooh. Ooh. I so want to launch another one, but it might not hit the other one. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move you up two. Just just two. See? He's, he's one square from discovering them. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do this. Wait a minute, you can't take the shot? Oh, did the battle scanner go away? Shit. you just spin around? Alright, well I can just trigger them doing this, so let's do that. Which I think is going to blow them up instantly, because I believe that will actually literally directly blow- yep! Directly blew it up. It wasn't terribly effective, because it unfortunately didn't hit both, but it was hilarious, and I really wanted to try it. That was fun. I don't regret a single thing I just did. even though it was pretty damn inefficient. I'm actually going to move you here. You still have a height advantage, and even though it says half cover, you're actually in full cover. Because of your thing. And let's do this. I want to know where that mech toy is. 
Mm, still don't know where it is. I feel like we might lose the other canister of meld. It's a pretty good chance we will. Let me take a peek around here. Okay, there it is. It's actually a decent chance to kill it. It's about a 25% chance to kill it. Then again, he's only in half cover, which is pretty freaking terrible, and he's probably going to take two shots. So I probably shouldn't do that, unless I can back him up. I could if he stood out in the open, which would be kind of stupid. And you certainly can't do a damn thing. Actually, you can. It's going to blow up a bunch of stuff, but... I mean, you have two rockets, why not use them? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Actually, wait. Could I run and gun? Not really. Actually, yeah. That means... You can come around and actually take cover and take another shot. And you have a greater chance to hit. Alright, that's probably not going to kill it. Nope, but one hit. Which is what I thought would happen. And then you can move on over here. And take a shot. Yeah! <sighs> I loathe to put you in half cover. But, I'm going to do it. I'm assuming they're going to shoot at the mechs that are in no cover, rather than the one that's in half cover. Anyway, there's not that much left. Just you? And you're going to trigger a reaction shot, I think. No? Apparently not. <clears throat> right after I said that they wouldn't try to shoot her, someone tries to shoot her. Okay, well, you're dead. Oh, you're actually out of range. Well, we can fix that. Right around the corner from these buddies. So next turn, I can ruin their party. Can someone tell me why there's only a 60% chance to hit the gigantic muton standing right in front of me and no cover at all about 50 feet away? I don't understand. That doesn't seem right. But... Okay. Can I buy, like, an, an aiming software upgrade for him? Ooh, would she discover them if she went here? I don't think so. Please don't discover them. Good. She's one square away from discovering them. Hunker down. It's really no point. Might as well just reload her. Getting my people into place for next turn. Solid copy, Commander. Yeah, these missions have definitely gotten harder. I've taken quite a bit of uh, hits here. We're doing fine, but still, quite a bit of hits. I want to move up to get this melt canister, and there's probably not that many enemies left, so... I really want to heal Finn, because she could potentially be killed by a crit, or even just a large shot. Alright, this is what I'm going to do.
I will heal her next turn, probably. I'm rolling. Maybe I should even hunker her down instead of Overwatch. No. If they decide to come out, they're gonna get shredded. Okay. I don't need to worry about her getting hurt. They won't even be able to shoot this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, next turn, they're gonna die. Where is it? Is it there or is it through there? Not sure. Anyway. Proximity mine? I so want to use these things so much. They're so cool. Uh, but against flying targets, it's not very intelligent at all. So let's not do that. Dead bounce. Look at that. It's going to destroy precious equipment. But most of the equipment on this place is probably going to be fine. There's so much of it. It doesn't even really matter. Yeah. Yeah, I should just blow him up. <laughs> it just like... It just like fell over the top. Like rolled down the top. Where are you gonna move? Where are you gonna move? Please come closer. Oh, you even have a shot. Well, you're dead. Major Spectre has earned a promotion! Yeah! Double tap, here we come. Finally, my first Colonel Sniper. That's affirmative. Oh, hi. I could even flame you, which would do six damage. But when I can shoot you and it can do up to 13 damage, that would be a stupid thing to do. So let's just do this. You're dead. And you're close to dead, so I should probably heal you, which unfortunately, because I haven't gotten the medikit upgrade yet, and he also doesn't have the one that increases the healing by four, means it's not going to do very much. So much so that I almost want to just leave her in the back, because I want—I think it's more important to go for the meld canister. But ah, there's there's a lot of unexplored stuff here actually, so no, we're going long term here. Wait, 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 hold on. Fuck! I blew up all my cover. <laughs> all right, let's do it here. Come on, time to cowboy up. I should even maybe heal her again next turn. I should, actually. I don't think I'm going to get that meld. I don't think it's going to happen. There's, there's no cover here. I guess I'll just stand you out in the open. On the move. I don't think any enemies are going to pay us a visit this turn. No, there's still enemies left, obviously, or the game would have ended. Alright. Let's move up. And see what we have to work with. Alright, nothing so far, which is what I thought. God, this place is huge. I really de do need to worry about the long game here. Like, don't rush, forget the meld canister, just survive. The aliens are pissed off, they have better units than they had before, and more of them. Just need to be careful. I'm gonna stand out in the open. Because everything will be fine. What if you use a medkit when there's two people near you? Do you have to decide who you want? Have to aim it? Oh, you can aim it. Cool. Good as new. Position confirmed. Ready to 
to fire. Just do some overwatch here. And some reloading. Moving. Hey, you got the chit and plating, Ochner. You can take shots, I think you'll be fine. Ready to rock. Alright, yep, everything's good. Everybody's healed, most people are reloaded. Where's that freaking canister? It's either right up here or it's inside. I think it's inside. Let's see what we got to work with. Hmm. Okay. I think everything's inside, both the canister and the aliens. Yeah, it's gotta be. Alright, let's, um, let's sprint up. Yeah, let's sprint up. Ooh, what do I do with you, Spectre? You can't be out here, you're not gonna... Yeah, you gotta be at the door. We're probably not going to get the meld canister. It's going to take too many turns to get my people into place. Solid copy, Commander. It's going to be at least one more. Move order confirmed. I could even do some crazy flanking stuff. Already there. By distributing my troops on all of the three doors. I'm uncomfortable doing that, though. I like to direct my fire, and if I do that, a lot of them probably won't be able to shoot whatever enemies we encounter. I could put like one over here though, or something. I don't want to put them on all three, but maybe two might be a good idea. In fact, it probably is. Yeah, because otherwise no one will be able to get cover. Alright, where am I putting Spectre? Where can she reach? Anywhere. Well, she's more likely to be able to get a shot here, so let's put her up here. Who else do I want up? I'd like my heavy. She can shoot a rocket and take two shots as well. Force to move you up. Alright, we should be in position for next turn, I think. Ooh, maybe not. Hmm. Yes, sir. Eh, it's good enough. You can always move over to get a shot. I'm surprised we haven't lost the meld yet. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, it's those fuckers. Oh. And they took cover at the core, which is the thing I want to survive. Which means I probably shouldn't use explosives, but those things can take over our mines. That is a terrible chance to hit. Fuck. I could kill it so easily. With an explosive. In fact, could I kill it without actually hitting the core? And then do an MLG shot. Well, I mean, this wouldn't even kill it. In fact, two grenades wouldn't even kill it. What's the point? 
I could destroy its cover, but then I would destroy something very valuable. You know, if I use everyone's normal shots on that, I think our chance of hitting it is pretty good. But, ah, uh, see, here's the thing. What's the point? If I have everybody take a terrible shot, because I don't want to destroy its cover, because I don't want to destroy that, the thing is, when they miss their shots, they're probably going to blow it up anyway. So it's kind of pointless, and I'm just wasting ammo and my turn. So why not just blow its cover up, and just get it over with? Where's the other one? Nor we can see, I don't suppose you can run and gun? Not to a good position. I will move you over here, though. Yeah, we're just gonna blow it up. I'm sorry, Kor. I'm so sorry, Kor. Valen's probably gonna yell at me. Oh, it even does tons of damage. Cool. Okay, I wanna capture one. Which means I need to use you. Where is that little thing? Let's move you up. I really want to capture it. Unfortunately, since it's the only one that can see Ochner, it probably means it's going to try to mind control him, which would be rather bad. I've only had suppressing fire or disabling shot. To fuck with it, but I can't. Please don't discover new enemies. Good. You know what? You know what? Maybe I should move Tyrone up, because I'm pretty sure he can't be mind controlled, because he is, after all, a mech. I might be wrong. I don't know. I generally don't know if that can be mind if they can be mind controlled, but I kinda want to. No, I'm gonna move him up here. So he's ready for next turn. Because I'm thinking if he mind controls Ochner or someone on my team, I need to be able to kill him. Or else I'm going to have to, like, blow up my teammate because my teammate's going to be trying to kill me. So I need to be able to kill this commander. If it comes to that. And now I can guarantee that because I could just punch him to death. He's not even going to be able to get close to him to use the freaking stun. And I have no way to suppress him. I'm just going to overwatch Alright, what is it going to do? Is it going to mind control Ochner? That's what I suspect it's going to do. What are you doing? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, thank God. It failed. My will is too high for you. And now you've used your turn. Right. I need to get you in place for next turn. And no, you cannot run and gun and use items, so that won't work. In case you're thinking it. I'm just gonna move him here. I really want to capture that thing. I really do. <sighs> you know, how much I want to capture that thing just went down by a lot. It just went down a lot. I don't really want to capture it anymore. Hey, at least I'm going to get some chrysalid corpses. Is there another one right down here? Oh, man. Proximity mines would be perfect for chrysalids. They will die in one, and they're guaranteed to come towards you. But unfortunately, it would only kill one if I put it here. So what's the point? I could just shoot it. Right, 
Right. So, Spectre can probably take out one. I just need to be able to see it. So, I need eyes on one of them. I'm just going to ignore the commander for now. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. I need to get I need to get the chrysalids. Those are the big deal right now. Fire a rocket. I could fire a rocket. I need to see them. So, I'm going to move you up. I need some eyes on the enemy. Where, where did the third one go? Wasn't there three? Hmm. Right. Five, six, seven, eight. This won't even kill them. Whereas I could take two shots, which would be much better. You have eyes on one of them? Of course you do. Alright, let's do that. You're dead. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Wasn't that a 99% chance to hit? I think she just missed a 99% chance to hit. Holy shit. Okay, I guess I'll use you. Goodbye. Should I move you into half cover? Yeah, why not? That doesn't matter. Anything that's going to shoot us is not going to take shots at her first, that's for sure. Any, the, like, the commander is going to shoot everyone over here before they would shoot her. Um. I could guarantee your death with this, and I wouldn't even have to move. Which is kind of cool. On the other hand, I can pretty much guarantee your death without having to use that. Screw it, I'm going to do it. It's fun. And I don't want to blow up the computers. Let's, let's try to blow up nothing. I don't think that's going to happen. Nope. Got to blow up a little bit of cover. Can you, can you, can you shoot? I'm, I'm clicking. I'm clicking. It's not working. I'm clicking, but it's not working. What, what the hell? Okay. Let's try a different tactic. Let's move you there. Let's try that again. Actually, what's your chance to hit? And never mind, I might as well just shoot you. It's a 100% chance to hit. That's pretty good. I definitely need some overwatch here. Good to go. And more overwatch. I could have sworn there was another chrysalid, so if it pops up, hopefully... Yep, it's... Oh, yep. And it's probably gonna die. It was right in the corner. You're dead. Now, what is the commander gonna do? I just hope it doesn't move too much, because I really want to capture it. Yeah, you're probably going to try to shoot him, right? Or mind meld? Oh. Did it... What, what did that do? Did that even do anything, or did it just caress me with a purple light? It was pretty, but as far as I can tell, it did nothing. How would you even tell? Like, would it be listed here? I guess it did nothing. Okay. Right, I need to soften you up. Hold on, what do you have? Oh yeah. Shit and plating reduces incoming melee damage by 50%. That's what the That's what it didn't tell me when I actually bought it. But that is really nice. And immunity to strangulation. Cool. Okay, you Hmm. How do I do a moderate amount of damage to it? The problem is your particle cannon is going to do too much. A punch is going to kill it. A grenade will only do four. A proximity mine would be kind of perfect, but it would also blow up my teammate, and it would require waiting another turn, which I don't want to. 
shit. 25% chance to hit. Oh, that's terrible. I think I need to blow up its cover first. I think I need to blow up Ochner's... I think I need to blow up Ochner. Ochner, please forgive me. Yes. I know this seems strange to shoot your teammate, but it's okay. Trust me. It's okay. <laughs> Trust me, it's okay. Don't worry. Now they're just staring around like, what the hell just happened? I think they're both confused. Ochner's confused why his mech friend just shot him, and... The commander's confused why his armor, why his um, cover just blew up. Right. What's the chance right now? 16. Oh my god, it needs to be at 3 or below. 5, 6, 7. So I need to do si like 6 damage to you. How do I do 6 damage to you? Nothing does that little. I could maybe shoot you with a pistol if I move you up. That's actually a very good chance to hit, but that's only two damage. I can't use a particle cannon. My weapons are too good for this. Up to eight damage. It's got a moderate chance to kill him. What about you? Oh, no targets, right. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, a rocket. Um, does six damage. <laughs> it does six damage. It has seven hit points. If I do six damage, it's gonna have exactly one hit point left. Which is perfect. That's as perfect as it can be, but do you realize the problem with that? Ochner, <gasps> I'm so sorry. I, I don't hate you, okay? I, I truly don't hate you. This is seriously the best thing to do. Okay? Please don't be mad at me. I'm blowing, I'm blowing up like everything on the supply barge and I'm shooting my own teammate, but please, please don't be mad at me. <laughs> please don't be mad at me, Ochner. I love you. That's what love feels like. That's what love feels like. It, it, trust me. It's okay. <laughs> I said I wanted to get a sectoid commander and I'm gonna get myself a sectoid commander. Hold on, can I move you into cover first? No, all, all the cover's blown up. I'm gonna get myself a sectoid commander. Say good night. Are you fucking kidding me? After all of that... I have to kill this fucking... 90% chance, there was a 1 in 10 chance that would happen, and it happened. Hold on, how much damage can that thing do? I know, I'm asking, I'm asking Ochner to take a lot of abuse here, but how much damage can that thing seriously do? Even if it critted, is it really going to do 14 points of damage? I don't think so. Ochner, you're going to have to take another one for the team. I have no way to suppress it. You know what I can do, though? I can give it another target to shoot at. I'm gonna get myself a sectoid commander. I'm not done. Oh no. And I would put you on overwatch. Actually, no, I can't. I can't even put you on overwatch. Um, just reload. And reload. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get ya. Yeah, yeah, shoot at him. Perfect. Feel free to shoot at my mech. He can take a hit. That is pretty much the worst thing you could have done. I'm gonna get myself a sectoid commander. I'm gonna get myself a sectoid commander. Come on. Yes, it is all worth it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ochner. Who knew getting a sectoid commander that I don't even need to get would be such a saga, such an epic tale. I'm proud of you, Ochner. You truly can take one for the team. Or two. Operation Purple Skull is a success.
figured the aliens would put up more of a fight. They didn't look so tough this time around. Are, are you serious, Central? They're way tougher than they've ever been in the past. <laughs> that was harder than the alien base invasion. But, okay. I'm really happy with how that mission went. It was kind of strange. We took a bit of damage. And I blew up my teammate on purpose multiple times. But... It resulted in Blunda now actually being a good medic. Now he's going to have Savior. And Spectre is going to be my first Colonel Sniper. So let's see what these both do. I'm almost certain I'm going to be taking Double Tap because it allows both actions to be used for Standard Shot. Headshot or Disabling Shot, provided no moves were made. In other words, you can shoot twice. In the zone, killing a flanked or uncovered target with the Sniper Rifle does not cost an action. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, the chance of a sniper getting a flanked shot is practically non-existent. At least with how I use her. The chance of killing an uncovered target is pretty low unless I force it with some sort of explosive. But... I don't like that. Because that means I'm using someone's turn to simply provide a possibility that she won't have to use an action. Whereas with this, I can just straight up shoot twice. Yeah, I'm going with double tap. Yeah, so between Blenda and Spectre now being much more effective in their class, I also captured a, a, uh, a sectoid commander. Which I'm rather proud of. That took some finesse, man. That took some finesse to get that commander. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. Ah, look at this. I didn't even blow up that much. I seriously didn't. One power source, two alien surgeries, two UFO flight computers, one stasis tank. That's it. That is a huge haul. Okay, is there anything to buy? Anything to get? I don't think so. Ooh. Advanced servo motors and alloy cannon are going to be done in one day. Let's wait for that. We got 30 back. 30 space bucks. What about the alloy cannon? Not quite done yet. Access lift done. Yeah, let's check out this alloy cannon. There we go. You are beautiful. I can't wait to get that for my assault. Ooh, interrogate the sectoid commander is actually priority. I don't even think I needed to do that, but... Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. What, what's going on? What's going on? They're going to annoy me every 10 seconds with that, aren't they? Let's let's do the autopsies because they are extremely quick. Let's do the sectopod. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Apparently there's something going on in this situation room, but I'm worried I'm gonna be sucked into some crazy mission. And I'm about to end the episode, so I'm not gonna click it. That'll be the cliffhanger for this episode. We have a secure transmission Wait, what the fuck? in from the council, Commander. Ah, oh, shit. This this is the situation room? Is it? I don't think this is the situation room. I don't Oh god. What if I don't want to do it? Target escort. Okay, there There's some special thing, some mission, I don't know. I'll figure out what that is later. I'm going to leave that for now. What I want to do is buy the damn cannon. Which, I'm gonna need to sell stuff for, undoubtedly. Just gonna sell the damaged stuff, should be worth quite a bit. 95? Might be, yeah, that's, that's gonna be enough, no doubt. And I'm not ever selling this alien entertainment. Never. Ooh, stasis tanks, I don't even need those. Chuka 
can take my guns. You can take my freedom. But you can't take my alien entertainment. Might be able to make another chitin plating as well. But for now, let's get that alloy cannon. Look at how much damage that does when it crits. Oh, man. That thing is beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, chitin plating. I still need more damn corpses. Such a pain. That's actually shown me that I think I should get the improved arc thrower. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I really don't want to... I really don't want that to happen again. I'm, I'm gonna do it. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. All right, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. Yeah, that was a very strange episode. Things started off strangely. I felt weird, I felt off my game. Things were just weird. The game reset its resolution and stuff, and some of the video settings and I don't know. Everything felt off. And even the mission was strange because I bl had to blow up. I mean, I didn't have to, but... I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to blow up one of my teammates. Twice. For the betterment of mankind. To be able to finally capture that damn Sectoid Commander. Which was strange, but it worked. And we got some of the most important promotions I've ever gotten. Between the Double Tap and the, Im the, the Savior. Which now turns Blunda into a very good medic. That has increased the effectiveness of my troops by a lot. So I'm really happy with how this has gone. Started out strangely, and ended also strangely, but on a very good note. And there's something strange going on in the Situation Room, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.